This is the Game 8 press conference featuring the Florida Gators. We're joined by head coach Tim Walton and student athlete Hannah Adams. Questions for Hannah to start, please. Chris. Yes, Hannah, can you uh, speak to the performance of Kelly Maxwell, what she may have had going on um, from a batter standpoint, please? Yes, um, she's a really good pitcher. We knew that coming in, but she just did a really nice job of mixing her location, mixing, mixing speeds. Um, you couldn't really guess a pitch that was coming. Um, she just did a really nice job of mixing speeds and locations, for sure. Cliff? Uh, Coach, uh, how was Start the... Start with Hannah first, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just, I apologize. I had a question for Coach. My bad. No problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, Hannah. So, uh, what well, was writing on this game, obviously, depending on uh, if you win, you go to Monday without a loss. Have you guys had time to maybe process what it's going to take now to achieve your goals going forward here? Um, yeah, I think we're a team that does a really good job of just taking it one game at a time and not getting too far ahead of ourselves. Um, we don't really let the last game affect us, so we're just going to do what we need to do to prepare for our next game. Chris? Yeah, um, the chances to get a run across against her were, were, were minimal. Um, is it? What's the element of frustration in the, in, in the dugout when you have opportunities and, and you know – you know you got to capitalize on those because she's not going to let you get in those opportunities very often. Yeah, I think the plus side of that is that we did have opportunities. Um, I think when she pitches, a lot of times it's hard to get those opportunities. So being in those situations, um, I mean, it just takes a big hit and a clutch moment. And when you don't get those, you just have to be, be behind your teammates the whole entire time, no matter what, um, and just hope that someone comes through at some point. So just really proud of our hitters. We were grinding out at bats the whole game, trying to get on base and do everything we can to get in situations to get those runners in. Barry? Barry Trammell with the Oklahoman. Uh, you guys opened the game with a nice bunt. They came back bunting, got on a couple times. Did you like the way you played those bunts? Were they just great bunts, or was there something you could have done different? Um, yeah, I think they were just good bunts. I mean, not a lot of people bunt on a 3-2 pitch, so I think the positioning was a little different there for that bunt. Um, she just happened to get it down in that count, so I think we were playing everything just how we normally would. Anything else for Hannah? Joey? Yeah, Joey Helmer, 24-7 sports. Uh, Hannah, you, you got on to start the game, the first two base runners, and didn't score in that first inning. Did you feel like it just could have been a different game had that first inning gone a little differently? Um, yeah, I mean, I think any time you can score in the first inning, that's a big momentum shifter, but I don't think we let it get to us too much. Um, we were still going in there, having really tough at-bats, um, communicating between batters on what we were seeing. We didn't let it get us down. Hannah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Questions for Coach Walton, please? Cliff? Thanks, Coach. Hey, um, Coach, how was the hit batsman in the seventh inning explained to you? It wasn't explained until uh, I asked after the game what, what, was, um, you know, what, what happened. But they don't, they don't explain anything to you unless it's – you know, maybe involving something a little out of out of character. That's pretty clear when they start the game. They, they, Any time they come back from review, you know, you don't you don't have an opportunity to question or ask. It's just um, that you can ask between innings, or you know, on the on the um, you know, we're not going. They're not going to allow stoppage of play for for that. So, um, I, I was told um, that that call was um, uh, not confirmed, but upheld on the field. So they went with a call on the field. And back. Here. All right, Tim. So big mountain to climb, of course, now with this loss. Uh, what about this team that you've seen all year gives you faith that there's still something to be achieved here and that you guys can still achieve everything that you want to? Yeah, I mean, it's a different path, but we get another opportunity to play an extra game. I mean, I think that's where we've got to look at it. We're going to have to play extra games now um, to get where we want to get to. But, um, yeah, this team's done a really good job. I mean, I, I thought we played hard today. I thought we played well. They, they just stopped, happened to you know, do a couple things better than we did, and, they, and their pitcher just uh, she pitched, she was on fire. She did a really good job. Chris? You guys have been hitting the ball so well for the past couple of weeks. Is this just a testament to, to the performance she had in the circle? Yeah, no question. I mean, the left on left was pretty pretty tough. We knew that kind of, you know, they asked me a lot of times, well, what, 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 tell me an inside secret to what you think is going to be successful. And I said, well, we, we're left-handed. You know, I felt like last, yesterday against, or two days ago against Oregon State was an advantage for us. Felt like that at Virginia Tech was an advantage. I thought I, I tipped the advantage to, to, to her. I thought she does. She, she owns left-handed hitters. Wow. She's tough on them. 
and the different speeds. So you get three different speeds. You're getting hard, you're getting the slow, and you get the slower. You know, it's it's tough. It, even though it's not necessarily slow, slow, slow change, it's still off enough. You can see some of the swings, just what it does to you. Over here. Tim, Sam Hutchins with the Ocali. What was it like coaching against Kenny after, I mean, especially on this big stage with y'all having achieved so much here together? Yeah, no, it's, it, I mean, you know, I've known Kenny a long time. So, you know, anytime you're playing against somebody, you know, going into the game, it's obviously, uh, you know, it's a little hype and so, you know, it's, it's different. But, you know, once you get to the game, I, I, I don't think I looked over in the dugout one time after that. So I think it's, you know, I said at the beginning of the game, you know, just, you know, proud of him and his accomplishments and what he's been able to do. Um, and, and revitalize that program and get it back to where it was, you know, in the, the 80s and 90s. He's done a really good job. Robert? Yeah, Coach, I, I think in softball, the, the portal hadn't made a difference. Hadn't that always been an open sport as far as transferring, being eligible immediately? Um, yeah. yeah. I mean. So, so, again, you've seen over your career a lot of former players and played against them after they transferred. Talk about Julia tonight. Well, I thought, you know, I thought they, they played great. You know, Kelly Maxwell was awesome and really did a good job on, you know, on ours. And, you know, I thought, I thought she played well, too. Scott? Scott Wright with the Oklahoman. Tim, uh, Kenny was just telling us a story about, about uh, a player who had a drug test after Thursday's game and didn't get back to the hotel until uh, after 3 a.m. I was just curious if you had any instances similar to that or, or other uh, types of mishaps throughout the, the drug testing, the random drug testing process. Um, no, um, we, I just had one that had to do a whole bunch of crunches. <laughs> That's what she told me. True story. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Chris. What can you say about UCLA heading into that, that game? Uh, nothing right now. I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there yet. So, um, yeah. Great game we just played. I thought both teams played well. Um, Oklahoma State's, you know, obviously was deserving. They did everything right and then got the W. Okay, thank you. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Appreciate your time.